man, that we just dead. You know? By the time I left Europe, he had a book. I says, that'll that'll be good for court or whatever you want to use it for, Dan. You know, I mean, it's all in my writing. But that's what it came down to. Yeah? Huh? But you're definitely right. You know, you write it down, what you write down, you can't change. That's forever. Right? So they can't not listen to you. Right. And if they don't, they're busted, not you. Uh-huh. Right? Because when you have them write it all down, fax that to me, will you? Fax that here, fax that there, and I want a copy. And I want a copy of the people you faxed it to. I mean, you got to, I mean, to really get anything done, you got to realize that most people are behaving like preschool children. They don't want a sense of responsibility. They don't want to think about the, the, the things that need their urgent attention coming up. They just rather not deal with that. But in doing that, they're sinking their own ship. And you can't really stop that from happening. You can't. It's up to them whether they want to or not. But if you have to deal with them and tolerate them and treat them as, as they're looking to be treated. And if they can't get it that way, I don't know, you got a boss, right? You got a boss? <coughs> no comprende. Angle. <laughs> Jefe. Can you, uh, you, you get paid more than I do. Figure out why this guy cannot understand English. Or why he can't understand normal thinking. Or whatever it is. You know, take the, don't take it upon yourself. To, I mean, that, it's so funny because, you know, people think being egoic means they're stuck up. You know, you don't have to be stuck up and conceited to be egoic. I've watched people use their egos to kill them themselves. There's nothing conceited about it. Very dreary. I've watched it. You've watched it. Being egoic doesn't mean you're always right. Sometimes it means uh, just complete self-loathing. That's egoic too. Right? I mean, anything that is de is depleting your well-being is egoic. It's it's the it's the demon running around inside of us, sucking up our life force. That which made you, people call God, that which made you, is giving you that life force. You hand it over to the ego? Or is it just taking it from you? You know, really, there's the battle. Your life force is yours. It is there so you can experience well-being, freedom, the totality of yourself, the full blazing light that you actually are, universal travel. So the battle is to get that ego out of the way. When you realize it's just a program running, it's not you, it's not you, it's not you. I would just rather sit in this. So I don't do anything. People go, wow, you have so much time on your hands. <coughs> yeah. Because there's really nothing more rewarding than being in love. Not the kind of love you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but being in that state. It is satisfaction. And I'll tell you, you find a satisfied person, they're not off looking for satisfaction. Mm -hmm. So what do they have got? All the time in the world. They're already satisfied. To me, what love is, is wanting to share that with someone. That's where I really, the, the juiciest of relationships you can have is when you are in a state of well-being that is so satisfying. You don't even concern yourself with yourself. You just want to express that to someone else. The love that you feel out of that.
Massachusetts. I try to do that. I really do. Because it makes me feel... They don't make me feel that way. What I feel within, generated from within, is the love that I can actually then give to them. It's the satisfaction I can actually say to them. Here, have some. I've shown up here Fridays for quite a while. And I'll go there with you every time. I don't feel like I'm losing anything in doing that. What have I lost? You're sitting there generating love. I'm sitting here generating the same thing. And look what it does. Right? Is that depleting you at all? situation. It makes you aware of the total connectedness, connectedness universal connection. We're, you know, we're all, we're all the same. We're all connected. Yeah, we're all in the same the fragmentation, thing. It's a whole, a whole, a whole energy. We're fragmented as rays, but inevitably we're all coming out of the same light. Right. It's the ego that defines one ray. It's the beam that sees the entire light for what it is. It does not obscure it by looking for individual rays and just absorbs it. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no uh, dividing going on. I mean, that's, those are the people that, have, that attain that, that Buddhist-like state. That the Buddha did, or Jesus did, or several others. That state. At least I'm convinced that that's what it is. What it feels like to me. I don't know if I'm where any of them were. I don't know. I don't know where they were. If I could meet one of them, and go, oh, yeah, I'm not there. <laughs> or yeah, yeah, I get that. It would, but for me, it feels probably like it did. I would hope like it did. But very satisfying. Just pure love. Really slows the mind down. It actually poisons it. <laughs> it kills off the ego that's lurking around in the mind. Love does. And Don Juan said it best. You want to get rid of a demon? Express love. They can't eat it. They can't take it. it, it, it it's the energy's way too vivacious and alive for that. It doesn't like that can't stomach it. It needs to take you to a very morose, slow place to consume you. It does not like poppy energy. It just can't understand it. It runs from it. First it tries to attack it, and then it runs from it. <laughs> Once it realizes, shit, I don't want to eat that anyway. But you know, I've noticed, you know, what Don Juan was doing with Carlos and, uh, and on down that lineage, thousands of years back, thousands and thousands. You bring someone, and you know, and it was really funny because I didn't really notice it until after Carlos passed away. You, you, you get brought to, they, they kind of push you towards a state that is truly you. Where they really, and it's not that they're your teacher, they act as a, um, a buffer because the minute you are heading for your true identity, that true love, that's when all those um, negativities, those demons actually lurk. Because you're a food source. You're an energetic source of life. They can't have you being free. Because if you're free, they can't eat you anymore. <coughs> they can't just completely consume every ounce of energy you have leave you as a pile of mock on the floor. So what the 